Good, 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 good morning, Sharon. How are you? Good morning, Tony. How are you? I'm very well, very, very well. Okay, okay, okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. We are live today again on Superfoods for Super You. Wow. Superfoods for Super You. So, Sharon, tell, tell us uh, what's, what do we have in store today? I mean, I, I think well, we have Tony, some, today. Some, yeah. Go on, carry on, sir. Today is going to be a jam packed information session today. So, if you have jam-packed. anybody out there, jam packed. We've got so many great things going on. We've got a special guest, super special guest, who you'll hear about. And I'm telling you, once you hear what she has to say, your life will change from a health perspective. We've got lots of things happening in our organization, in the health right. restore. So, great. Great, let's, great, go. Great. let's go. Great, great, great. So what I'm going to say is, guys, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Sharon. We've got some, uh, so a special guest on, as usual, at the last special show of the month. We have a special guest um she's actually coming on board i think she's had some communication problems at the moment but let's forget about it we're live live is life yeah every life mistake you see every mistake you see on this show is deliberate yeah because we're live yeah so guys don't worry if you see a mistake it's deliberate because life is live yeah live is life so sharon one of the things i would like to say is uh thank you i had some good feedback from the previous shows so um do you want to share some of the yeah. some of the some of the feedback from the previous shows? Amazing feedback, yeah. Um, so yes, the previous. Your... Yes, of course. Yes, you yeah. know the previous shows have had such emphasis on power of food. We've had um, our nutritionist uh, Jeremiah talking about the, the benefits of types of food that's relevant to Nigeria, um, and today we continue that theme as well with some wonderful power of food today and wow. um, we've had lots of good feedback from the people who are on the restore program people who completed it people who want to join so this is the place to be to get your health great in 2023 wow wow and um you know I, I think i'll let you go through this mission and mission that we have over to you Sean. Yes, okay. So, you know, let food be thy medicine, that famous statement by Hippocrates. And our vision is to lead the movement back to healthy home cooking. And our mission is to utilize cooking to inspire people to eat better, live better, and achieve the life they desire. What great Fantastic. vision and mission Fantastic. statement we have. Fantastic. Yes. Okay, so you can see we have a very, very special guest today, Sarah Danziel, and she's going to be sharing some wonderful information with us, which she'll go through later, but she's going to be talking about sleep disorders. Now, through my conversations with people, they always ask me about how much sleep, and Sarah will cover that extensively. And then she'll be talking about ulcers, different types of ulcers and types of food to eat, that can calm those ulcers down. And then, of course, we have our wonderful Tony Bello, our Grandmaster Dealer there, um, who is um, going to be hosting. And then myself, Sharon, and then we have Nikkei. Nikkei is um, not able to get on board today, but, you know, live is live. We continue. And then we have our nutritionist, Jeremiah. But you'll be, please get your notepads ready, write down the things do everything that you need to do. And um, Tony, can I ask you, will, will you be doing a recording on this? Can we, will people- We're, we're, we're live, we're live. Everything's live. Okay. Everything's live. Everything's live. Okay. We're, on YouTube. we're live. Right. You can go back on YouTube and you can see us, okay. we're live. There's no Fantastic. recording. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Great yeah. stuff. Great stuff. Wow. I'm so looking forward to this. I'm excited. Okay, let's go, let's move on with some statistics. We have a Dr. Dolly there. She's one of our local doctors here based in Lekki. And she'll soon be coming on to a show. Am I right, Tony? She'll be yes, coming yes, to a show just, in the near just, future. Yep, 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 definitely. Yes, yeah. okay. 
So you'll hear her live. So please keep tuning in to our Saturday morning show. So in Nigeria today, did you know that the average life expectancy is 57 years young? Wow. When I saw that, I thought, wow, that is young. And there's been some statistics done and diabetes. One person is diagnosed with diabetes every two minutes in Nigeria. That's another, another startling statistic. And then we have high blood pressure. High blood pressure puts one in four Nigerians at risk every single day. That's one in four. And do you know there are people walking around, around nine out of 10 Nigerians are unaware that they have high blood pressure. They don't know, they have the symptoms, they're walking around until it gets to a critical stage and they're diagnosed with high blood pressure. Moving on to cancer, that C word. 10 Nigerians die every hour of cancer. So it could be um, affecting an adult, a child, any type of cancer um, to do with female and male. So that's 10. Obesity. Do you know that one in four adults in Nigeria are obese? And the children, one in 10 children in Nigeria are obese by the age of four. Tony, wow. those statistics wow. are very startling. Yeah, exactly. and we're, we're here to help everyone. Okay, so we have Jeremiah Ape, our nutritionist. You can see a picture of him, up and coming um, nutritionist, dietitian, here to help you. So I'm going to hand you over to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, are you there? Jeremiah, let's see if we can hear. I think we have some feedback in the IT. Please, can we uh, have less feedback? So um, we have Jeremiah coming on. So Jeremiah, okay. I'm going to. We're going to add Jeremiah to the show. Jeremiah, hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good morning, I'm fine. This is Tony. Good morning. Good morning, okay. Sharon. Great, great, great. So you have. You're going to share some. some live is some live. Of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let Jeremiah. Um, just uh, probably myself and Jeremiah will have a chat. Let's say, say so over to you, Jeremiah. Let's see if we can get you on Life is Life. <laughs> so over to you, Jeremiah. So, Jeremiah, okay. what do you have in your thoughts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm listening to you, sir. What do you have in store for us? What do you have in store for us today? Okay, so before we get to that, uh, let me quickly introduce myself once more. I'm Jeremiah Ape. I'm be a nutritionist for today, and I'm so excited to be on the show every Saturday. Uh, so before we get to what we have today, I'll just do a little recap of what we did last time. So if you missed, I'll call my kindred advice for you to go back and get it. So last time we talked about the fiber and the power of yellow and orange. So we'll talk about the benefits of the fiber and how important the fiber is to your body and some examples like your beans, your nuts, your vegetables, your fruits, which can easily get here in Nigeria. I'll also talk about the power of yellow and orange, which you can see and the benefits that they have in your body. So quickly, we're going to go into today's uh, topic, which is the power of the purple and the blue. So and somebody, why do you take purple and blue? Well, people do ask, what will be your next color? So people are debating what is next, what is next, which color are you going to talk about? It's going to be beneficial to us. I think you're touching all of them and we have seen good results. So today we're talking about the power of the purple and the blue. So this is your reward for the feedback I've been getting of which color are you going to talk about next? What are the benefits? What do they do? So we're going to go into that. So I've actually granted you your wish. So you see the power of purple and the blue. So the purple and the blue food uh, contains certain nutrients, um, certain helpful nutrients that you need. So one of the things that they do is that they promote longevity and delay cellular aging. So those of you that are complaining that, oh, my skin is getting rough, oh, my skin is having this, oh, my skin, I think my skin is folding. Um, they have the certain chemicals or substance in there that promotes those longevity and delay your cellular aging. Another thing they order do is the, they improve digestive and memory function. So those of you that complain of, oh, I do forget something at times, uh, these colors help you. They help you. Another thing that they do is that they promote yourself from oxidative stress. 
And one of the things we find out in this stress is that it does not make your cell to function well. And one of the things that causes it is the fat in your body. So when fat comes to your body, the bad fat, they go down to the cell and the block glucose from coming to the cell and it causes your cell to stress itself to carry out the activities because there is no enough substance for it to carry the activities because it's being blocked by the fat. It causes it to stress. So one of the advantages you have in this purple and blue uh, food substances that they promote, they, they help you protect your cell from this kind of stress so your body will be able to function well due to fat in your body, your body is stressed. So because of what this purple and blue do, they help you protect the cell. So another thing they do is they support healthy human system because they contain vitamin C. So what does vitamin C do is that they help you produce collagen in your body. It's a protein substance in your body, so they help you produce it and it helps you strengthen and smoothing your gums and your teeth and your bone and your skin. Another thing that they do is that the lower inflammation, the lower LDL cholesterol level, like I said before, one of the things that stresses your body, your cell, is the fat. So if these colors of food can protect you from oxidative stress, then technically it can help you also lower the risks of a cholesterol level and also lower the risks of cancer and stroke and they also lower the progression of cancer. So it, the, the power of purple and blue is very, 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 very powerful. So as you can see, it, it's very important to get them. So I'm gonna give you some examples, the one you can easily find here in Nigeria. So we have our eggplant, we have our blueberry, we have our grape, and we have our onions. So these are technical example and typical example you can find here in Nigeria to help you get your day started with good nutrition and help you live healthy. So that's what we have for today. And don't worry, <laughs> it's not gonna turn you blue. <laughs> it's gonna give you good, healthy, healthy immune system. So this is the power of the purple and the blue. Wow. So thank you, Big Jeremiah, one. purple and blue, purple and blue. Wow. Um, guys, um, so the color of your vegetables makes a difference to your health. Or, you know, one of the things that I like to say is like, we are either eating for wellness or we're eating for illness. Um, now, some people say, well, what? Are, how do we know we're eating for illness? And how do we know we're eating for wellness? Well, you only know when you're eating for wellness, from what I understand. Because... If you know about the power of your food and the power of your color of your food, you will eat deliberately on purpose. Yeah. But when you don't yeah. know the power, then you eat, you eat whatever is there. And then you worry about the consequences later. <laughs> is that Jeremiah? Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> That's very correct. Thank you very much, Jeremiah. Now, we're, so thank you very much. We really enjoyed that. And um, we're looking forward to next week's one, next week's color. Next week's power, yeah. the power of our food. <laughs> our food. Our food is so powerful. It's powerful yeah. as medicine, and it's also powerful as poison. You decide what do you want. So on that note, thank you very much, Jeremiah. Yeah? Thank you, and, Mr. Tony. Okay, thank so you, guys, uh, we've got some information from Jeremiah there. I hope you found that powerful because your food is powerful. Remember... You're either eating for wellness or you're eating for illness. We want to stop the low life expectancy in Nigeria. So that's why we're having this show on. And that's why we have a special guest on too. And our special guest, Sarah, is actually online, online. She's live. She's live. Live is life. So I'm going to slowly see if I can bring her onto the chat. Onto the chat. Sarah, are you there? Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Nigeria. <laughs> Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning. And, and those of you that don't know Sarah, Sarah has been with us for a long time. She's been with, we've been working together for a long time. From the days of the UK, Sarah is a, a Food for Life instructor. She's a nutritionist. She's done so many amazing things. And guess what? She comes to Africa. She comes to Africa. She has visited more African countries than some Africans. <laughs> yeah, she's visited more Nigerian cities than some Nigerians. 
<laughs> she's seen more places in Ghana than some Ghanaians. Yeah, she's gone to the Ivory Coast. Yeah, she's gone to Kenya. She's gone to Mombasa. She's gone to Nairobi. Wow. Let me tell you something. This lady is our adopted African queen. And not only is she our adopted African queen, she comes with us with power, with knowledge. She's not coming with, to us with European food. She is using Nigerian food to help solve the problem of life expectancy in Nigeria. So, Sarah, you know, and guess what? Serp goes to the market in Nigeria and the market in Ghana. So, Serp, over to you. Over to you. Wow. Thank you so much for this incredible introduction, uh, Tony. I'm so excited to come and actually meet everybody in person sometime soon this year. <laughs> and as you can see, sun is shining in London because yeah, I'm yeah. really loving these sunny countries like Nigeria. That's why my heart is always there and it's a great great people great food and the weather so that's why um we are here to also help you to enjoy your life and having a better uh, health and lifestyle as well so um i mean you already introduced me um as well but i why i like about coming to africa because you have your own natural food that's why what we said, food as medicine, you can make Nigerian food as medicine. So uh, one thing I love um, traveling because I can actually connect with people. I can see what they actually eat, their traditional food especially. And then I also love go, go and actually meet uh, local people, what they grow and then how I can actually make and pre um, prepare my recipes using the just the food is grown in the country, for example, Nigeria. So when I go through my presentation about the sleep disorders and stomach ulcer, I will relate to some of the food you already have in Nigeria. And then also how you can actually use it in your day-to-day um, -day life and you can actually improve your health issues. Um, as uh, Sharon also mentioned, the statistic in Africa is really um, scary. The reason is life expectancy in Africa is, um, they say, like about 57. You know, European countries or Western countries, they have life expectancy longer because of the medication. Doesn't mean you have a better, um, you know, kind of like a, health or a better um, life we would like to help you to have a better and quality life it doesn't matter how long you live and with the food you you can have your life expectancy longer and also you can actually enjoy your life and i give you more examples later after i finish my presentation the the 30 days health restore really help people to improve their health, re uh, reverse lifestyle diseases, and one of the things also help for sleep. Most of the people actually came to me, um, oh, surprisingly, my sleep pattern completely changes, improved, and I can now sleep like babies. It, it, uh, they already have some health issues before, like diabetes, high blood pressure, weight problem, cholesterol, heart problem, all sort of things or exam pains, but because of the the food you choose to eat and how you cook and prepare now turn into the medicine and automatically, unexpectedly, your body knows, um, you know, what you are putting and it starts healing itself. That's why um, we are here to help you how you can actually also improve that with the food choices um, and also the how you can prepare and cook. Okay. Um, today's topic is sleeping disorders. So there are different types of sleeping disorders people actually can um, face. Is the I think the most common would be the insomnia. So insomnia underlining is there are other reasons. Insomnia is like you can't really get sleep or you wake up and you get you get up so tired and you can't function during the day or at work. If you are a mom, you can't really, you know, um, uh, spend quality time with your children. So insomnia underlying is could be 
you have problems like depression, anxiety, um, some other things with insomnia would be the like a weight problem and kind of concentration problem. So these are the things and also stress. Of course, stress is the biggest thing. If you live in a big city like Lagos, even Abuja, I believe. So if you, um, for example, for Lagos, you have to travel far to get to your office and then come back. And during your day, um, you probably try to handle some of the tasks. So it could be a little bit difficult and you run under stress too much. So if you don't pause and really do some kind of like a relaxation and breathing, by the way, um, what I would suggest, the best thing is really breathing. Um, the breathing is because if you don't breathe properly from your belly, you don't get enough oxygen into your brain. So that's why your concentration is not good. So if you don't have enough oxygen, it will make you feel sleepy more. And also... Um, Later, you will you will have some issues um, falling asleep as well. So this is very important exercise, the breathing, and then uh, take a pause, take a break uh, between your tasks. Don't really kind of run one after the other task. Just finish things and pause, and then that's why it will help you to improve your anxiety. For depression as well, some of the foods will help you for the depression. So let, I will give you examples when, I, when it comes to the food. And let me tell you, other thing is sleep apnea. So sleep apnea can be people have difficulty during the, like it's difficult to breathe during the sleep. And again, it is actually something is uh, happening in your um, nerves, in your brain. So that can be checked um, and monitored by the doctor as well. And... Um, some people might have problem restless um, leg syndrome. So um, these are the things people actually, um, how, like I will explain it to you this way. If you are under stress too much and if you can't handle some of the thing, that's why during the sleep you are moving too much. You don't really feel comfortable um, just like uh, resting your body completely. And again, the food can help you with this. Um, let me tell you uh, more about uh, foods to avoid. So if you have some sleep problem, it could be um, maybe you are living on caffeine, like coffee and tea. So one of the reasons people tend to really have more caffeine in your day-to-day um, -day life because they can't concentrate. They, they don't want to fall asleep. That's why they keep doing it. So if you do that, it's going to be even worse for your sleep later. So if you don't have a quality sleep, of course, you are not going to function better during the day. And the example would be instead of having co um, caffeine, you should really have something more like a um, high fiber. Um, it's like a good fat, some uh, plant-based protein, combination of the smoothie i believe in the uh, 30 days health restore so you have the option so when you have good breakfast the packed with the, all the nutrients and protein fiber and the fats so it will take you are not you will stop craving of the sugar you will stop craving of the caffeine because it is going to help you to focus better you are getting the right nutrients Okay, alcohol. So some people might have it for socially, but if you are having more than social, so it could be also problem uh, sleeping, especially the alcohol cause snoring. So it would affect your, uh, your sleeps and also your partner as well. Unfortunately, some partners complain, oh, please help my husband or sometimes the woman as well, of course please help my partner to improve the snoring because we can't sleep in the same bed anymore because we disturb each other kind of thing. So again, the food you eat can affect your um, snoring and quality of sleep you will wake up. And then other, other food you can actually avoid, heavy meals late at night. And I believe Nigerian people get back home quite late. But if you really live on the 
eating like fast food, heavy meals late at, at night and you, you go to sleep one hour later or some people fall asleep after that. They don't really go to the bed maybe. So it will make you also um, kind of like having a disturbed sleep. So because you will wake up and then you will have some issues digesting the food and or, or feeling thirsty, go to the toilet, that kind of things will affect your sleep too. Sugar. So some people really um, run on the sugar. They think that they it gives them energy. Sugar means not the sugar itself. Of course, the everything you get from the packaging food, like biscuits, cakes, chocolate, um, could be sugary beverages, your, you know, acidic um, kind of like a drinks, juices, all sorts of things you are eating during the day. I'm not saying just before you go to sleep. That will actually make you kind of your adrenaline up and down so that you can't handle the stress as well. You're, you are putting too much pressure on the system to keep you awake, but you are actually um, causing the issues for your for your body to handle that's why you will actually have problem also falling asleep or you know um sleeping throughout and you will some issues and fried foods the heavy fried foods again people tend to have because it's actually more convenient and easy instead of actually cooking at home people get also fried chicken fried also, or maybe um, suya. <laughs> See, I know your food. Some people tend to have street food as well. They think that it's actually easy to eat on the way home. And then they don't really think about the nutrition. So if you are eating something like this, you are getting more kind of like fat chemicals into your body and your brain can't actually uh, settle and relax. And also you will find... Your, uh, the body is going to use more energy for the digesting. That's why it will keep you awake. And dairy products. So in this program, we tend to not to give you dairy for 30 days. It's the, for the foundation we are actually setting for the body to really educate you, educate your taste buds, because the dairy products would cause quite a lot of issues. Um, For example, it's got... It can actually give you extra hormones. Some people can't digest it properly. It can be very heavy for the system. So that's why the dairy products should be avoided. And chocolate, um, chocolate tend to have caffeine in it. The caffeine could be in your um, coffee you are having, uh, the black tea you are having. Uh, green tea tend to have less, but if you have sleep problem, Maybe take it one in the morning, not like it before you go to bed or something. It would still affect you. But the green tea is the healthiest option when it comes to the caffeine. And then again, if the chocolate is high in sugar, high in milk and all the, you know, the uh, colorings and E numbers on the packaging, if you are getting from the supermarket, but generally good quality um, chocolate, it's actually like, 80% to 80, 90%. This is the, like a pure cacao. As you can maybe, and when you get the program, you will see some of the smoothies we are actually making. We use pure cocoa powder. It will actually give you, cocoa powder has got magnesium, by the way. So magnesium is actually helping to relaxing your um, muscles. It helps you to prepare for the, for the bed. And again, as you know, cacao powder has got caffeine. If you take it in the morning, it's better. And then other thing I am going to go through is the foods to eat. This is very important, actually. Reason is because, um, let me tell you, the first one, fermented foods, which is the, um, the foods has got probiotics. So probiotics um, rich foods, uh, um, we are... You know, the gut is our second brain, as you know. So, and also gut is very important for our body. It makes 70% of the immune system immunity and 90% all the feel-good feel hormones such as serotonin, dopamine, endorphin, 
and melatonin. As you know, melatonin is very important um, hormone for the for sleeping. So if you have less, so that's why you find difficult to, to go to sleep. So people um, in Western countries, they also buy a melatonin kind of like supplements. I don't recommend this. Don't rely on the supplements always. You, what you can do in my studies and my research, actually, I found also, you know, when you have nuts, could be ground nuts, but uh, make sure ground nuts is not really on the street. So we tend to get the raw ground nuts and do it in our specialized cooking system. Reason is because on the street, they use high temperature for the because of the fat in the peanuts, ground nuts, I mean. So then um, high heat releases excess of the fat from the ground nuts and it will cause toxic fat. So toxic fat is actually one of the fats causing uh, most of the lifestyle diseases, especially uh, including the sleeping. And also what they use is like aluminum or something is also causing another chemical reaction. So you are not eating the pure healthy ground nuts. So maybe the uh, people in the office can help you how you can actually, um, you know, cook your ground nut or the, um, cook it actually better way rather than getting it on the street. So what I would say, when you have it with banana, for example, as a snack, I don't say use it just for breakfast because the granat and banana itself is not enough for breakfast and you will feel hungry again and you will um, crave some other things. That's why we have uh, recipes for you. You can combine the banana and groundnuts together or as a snack you can have. What it does, when they actually combine together, um, it actually releases the substance called l -thinin. So when you have it in the morning, generally, till nighttime, you will build up natural melatonin hormone. So that will actually help you to fall asleep better and sleep. Um, and I actually done it on me <laughs> because everything I say to you, I always uh, do it for myself first to really see. I'm always uh, taking myself as a case study. And the green leafy vegetables you, you should really eat. Um, remember the uh, green leaf vegetables, how much you are cooking is important. You need to, you can use it in raw. You can also cook it two, uh, three to four minutes to keep all the nutrients intact. Um, you, some of you probably know about the healthy cooking system. If you don't know, you can actually ask them how you can um, see the presentation. So they will show you how you can cook your uh, leafy vegetables to keep the nutrients and the color intact. And starch vegetables important. So for example, um, starch vegetables, you have um, plantain, sweet potato, and also like yam, cocoa yam. So these are the things you can actually have. But when it comes to Irish potato, it tends to have more um, sugar. And also again, healthy cooking system has got a system it will um, reduce the starches when you, when you cook it. So that's why if you don't know anything about it, please just uh, see the presentation. Again, eating starch vegetables is good, but when you have too much sugar, it would affect your sleep as well. And did you well, want to say something, thank, Tony? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, so guys, you know what? Um, if you're not, if you're sleeping, then you're awake now, yeah. And you're listening to how <laughs> can you sleep well. You, you've you've probably shown people how they can sleep well, the foods that they need to eat, the foods they need to avoid, you know, and the reasons for the sleeping, the, the issues. You know, you didn't know how a lot of people didn't know how powerful food is. It affects our sleep, yeah. It affects our sleep. It affects our life. It's so powerful. It's fuel to the body. So, Seb, just um, is there something that you wanted to say more on sleeping before we move on to the next topic? Uh, I'm just going to finish off the food very quickly, then okay. I go on to the stomach. No, okay. I'm just covering the food part, and I can, we can go on to the stomach ulcer. That's fine. Okay. Cool. So, I'll be quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, other one is fruits in moderation. Um, so, again, if you have a 
if you have a sleeping problem, uh, you should avoid too much sugar from the fruits as well. That's why it's best to have it in the morning rather than late at night. After four, four o'clock, you should really stop eating any fruits. And nuts and seeds for a high fiber because the fiber will help you to also grow those probiotics in your in your gut as well. This is actually helping you to have like a melatonin hormone. And then um, nuts and seeds are good fat as well. So it will help you to even lose weight if you have any issues to lose weight as well. And beans and legumes group is the high protein and also high fiber. That's why when you have the problem with the um, uh, sleeping when you when you have this combination and the recipes uh you will be able to um actually sleep better so these are the sleep parts um of course there is more things in uh, i can go in depth but because i'm just gonna cover one more topic um and as as you know you can actually contact me if you have any problem uh, specifically regarding the sleep disorders or um you know, yeah. like that. I also do one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. Okay, so, so I don't uh, know any questions or should yeah. I pick the questions? Well, you know what? I think everyone's um, just recovering from their sleep. <laughs> 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 and, and I think some people, have, some people might have put it into action already on the show. They might have, Amazing. They I might like have started, they might have started sleep, eating right? the foods that make them sleep. And I, I don't think it's a good idea to do this topic in the morning. Because <laughs> some people might try it and go to sleep. So, you know, so some of the questions are not here yet because they're sleeping, but I'm sure we're going to wake them up with the next topic. So, Sharon, is there question. any questions? Yeah. yeah. Yes. This is one, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you. Um, there's one question about the fruit. You were suggesting. Yeah, you're welcome. There's one thing that you said that you were advising not to take fruit after four o'clock yeah okay um there are Can you hear me? so when people feel oh, a little yeah. bit hungry sorry i can't hear you john i think there's some feedback on your is. side i think the speakers might be too loud yeah it's because it's given double feedback yeah okay are you, are you there, Sean? You're looking, okay. smiling. You're smiling. Your life, your 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 life, and live is life. So you know what? Every mistake on the show is deliberate. Because can you hear me? <laughs> I, I can hear you, but it's echoing. Um, shall I repeat what you said? And probably I understood the question. You were asking me. I mentioned the fruit shouldn't be eaten after four o'clock. Yeah. Yes, that's I, about, yes, yes, that's right, that's right. Okay. Uh, basically, the fruit has got natural sugar in it, um, fructose. Of course, um, most of the people, um, have, not just about the sleeping problems, is also digesting it is not a, is a problem because the after four o'clock, your body starts slowing down. So you don't need too much energy anymore. So that's why I ask people, stop eating the um, fruit around four or five o'clock. And also some people tend to have fruit after dinner that would cause fermentation and problem in the gut. So when you have problem in the gut, you can't sleep properly as well. So that's why there are many reasons behind it. That's why in general, um, health and well-being, yeah, fruit is... Uh, that be okay, that makes Fantastic. sense. That makes sense. We can't see, we can't okay. see you moving, Sharon. So I think so you're you definitely alive. We can hear you. We can hear you. We're live. We are live. <laughs> we can definitely hear you alive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So, okay. So what I want so, you to oh, just say, okay, so that's fine. Limit, limiting the, the amount of food we eat after four, if we need to. Yeah, I mean, after yeah. after lunch or something, <laughs> after four, before dinner, you should, you should really have it. All right. So in moderation. I mean, moderation. Okay. <laughs> in moderation. Yeah. yeah. I like I like my banana. Yeah. <laughs> eat everything throughout the day, morning, after 
like a long chat, but later. Great, great, great. So, so the next topic. Okay. Is... Next topic. Yeah. Very exciting. And yeah. when I was in uh, Nigeria, actually, quite a lot of people approached me uh, regarding stomach ulcer. It's actually more common even in Nigeria than uh, um, in the UK, because I don't normally handle people as much with the stomach ulcer. Okay, let me let me tell you about the stomach or peptic ulcer. And there are two of them I'm going to mention. One is the curling just under the esophagus, just inside of the stomach, we call it stomach ulcer. And then other one is down to the, your small intestine. It is the, called duodenal ulcer. So it's, it looks like a little wound happens mm -hmm. in the stomach or, or just on the uh, small intestine. These are the, one is for the stomach lining uh, another one is the small intestine lining. It's actually, they are both making mucos. So mucos is actually important to keep the organs moist and also helps it to digest easily and absorb in the uh, small intestine as well. So uh, let me tell you, I believe why you have more in Nigeria, there is a one bacteria responsible for it. Helicobacter pylori. So it can come from contaminated water and it can come from contaminated foods. So that's why I understood why people would have this problem. I'm not saying only that. Of course, if you have problem, the uh, lack of enzymes in your stomach, which is the hydrochloric acid or pepsin, so which is actually um, responsible for digesting the food in the stomach, so if you don't have enough acidity and the mucos, and when you are attacked by those bacteria, so you become more vulnerable. So what, how we can actually change or improve it? And also some of the symptoms people will get, you wouldn't know what is in your stomach um, until you get some symptoms, could be burning like a stomach pain. You will feel like really painful in your stomach. I'm glad, you, I'm, glad, I'm glad you mentioned, uh, Serp, that it's quite common in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, because I see a lot of people and I hear of a lot of people with stomach ulcers. And some of them are in serious pain when they go through it. And, and yeah. like you said, certain things that they're eating and the food they're eating makes, has an impact on whether you, you are able to manage it or even get rid of it. Um, and obviously, one of the things I'll say to a lot of um, people is that we have to, one of the things is, is regular eating, is regular eating, uh, if, if people are eating irregular, mm. is that going to cause a problem? Because I know a lot of Nigerians, they don't, some, a, lot, a lot of people in Nigeria, they don't eat. They, some of them say they don't have breakfast or they, they prefer to miss breakfast or they prefer to have uh, lunch or, you know, what do you say on that? Okay, quickly. one of the reasons, can I say uh, irregular doesn't mean it's like a fasting. Irregular means people tend to live on small amount, but often, isn't it? Yeah. Like yeah. I saw it a lot. Why you have quite a lot of street foods, people on the, on the road, they don't have time to prepare maybe they think There is always time um, mm -hmm. to prepare their breakfast. On the way, they buy things. Mm -hmm. and eat it in the car, in the office, at home. You know, every time you do that, your body is releasing enzymes. After a while, you will have less. Especially mm. that if you are, um, one, by the way, if you have stomach ulcer, you mm. might have some uh, stress problems, like you have some stress in your life, and mm. also age. So when you reach 40, generally, mm. around mm. 40, things start slowing down in the body, like even the enzymes. So if you do that more eating small and frequently, so mm -hmm. then uh, you are, your body thinks that <laughs> I have to release, you know, the enzymes. But if it's not there, it will cause more acidity. It will right. make it itself. Okay. So That's why you can't break down your food properly. Right. And the yeah, stress of the life as well. But one of the things we have to really look into is the how we can improve it. Okay, one of, if you are not going to be serious, <clears throat> the doctor will say you have to have a surgery, by the way. 
So there is also other option, but uh, we don't really <laughs> give this option to people as much. If we can help, especially mm -hmm. prevention, and if you, if it's not too far or too late, so um, we can help you to change your the way you actually, you know, um, eat your food or choose your food. And mm -hmm. I already have people in Nigeria reverse it within. 30 days. Wow. Three so reverse days. it. No, so you are in the right place. <laughs> when, you, when you say reverse it, does it mean they don't have it anymore? Okay. They don't have it anymore. And then once you educate your system, you are going to prevent. You know the surgery or other things. If you even heal your stomach ulcer for some reason with the medication or surgery, for example, mm -hmm. doesn't mean you are not going to get it anymore. So it's all about really understanding how I can now, you know, you because you get more education and understanding now, your body's actually healed itself. Now you are going to make the right choices and cook your food the right way. Of course, automatically, you're not going to get it anymore. And mm -hmm. then um, what I would say, the avoiding some of the certain foods will be helping. And also the cho choice of the food definitely will help as well. And then, uh, what would help is the really um, fermented foods. Fermented foods, uh, locust, lo locust beans you have, I believe, some of the yes, dishes yes. you are using. Yes. And I believe you have other fermented food, traditional one uh, you can actually have. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, um, in, in the... European countries, we have different options of probiotics like um, fermented vegetables you might have also. These are very important. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but some people might need to take probiotic supplements if it's a bit um, severe. That's why we need to know how, how much we can actually help you. And then if we see the result of your doctor, we see what's happening with the food. And uh, um, of course, some people, if you are having small... If you have smoking, alcohol, mm. spicy foods, acidic mm. foods, mm. like beverages, dairy, and meat, mm -hmm. and high-fat foods. That's why I was telling you about uh, having these fried foods or fast foods and eating packaging food has got hidden fats in it. Mm. So sugar as well, processed foods. Uh, process is actually completely... There is not much nutrients in it. It's full of like um, chemicals and E numbers and uh, unnecessary fats and uh, things like empty calories mm. and zero nutrients. <laughs> wow. Wow. And wow. Swiss fruits like oranges and tangerine. Lemon is okay. Lemon mm. can be alkaline in the blood. So it's not going to affect you as much. But the mm. other ones like oranges, clementines, that kind of things is actually also should be avoided. And some juices. Mm -hmm. um, that's mm. why we give you smoothie instead of juice because the juices can turn into sugar. Oh, that's, quite, that's, that's quite interesting, sir. Because um, you, you mentioned you give your juices, uh, smoothies rather than juices. Yeah. Can you <laughs> just help people on this? Because, you know, a lot of people, obviously juices like... Um, very liquid smoothie has some things in it that makes it a little bit thick but what's the benefit of the, dif the difference between the two and the benefits between the two okay very good so the juices um okay very common at the moment people just get when you have as a juice you get all the nutrients into your body straight isn't it you don't have to digest as much but what happens depends on what you are juicing even the green leafy vegetables you you do some people do apple or carrot or some fruits mixed together the thing is without the fiber body can't release excess of the hormones excess of the fat excess of the toxins um undigested food and the carcinogen so that's why if you want to have a better health you should really keep the um also fiber but also when you do the juices it will increase the sugar um, content more and also it will um, take some of the nutrients away because when you juice it actually um, you know you're extracting things but you're also losing some nutrients during the process 
And the other thing is with this smoothie, you mm. can have it as a meal, which means part of your breakfast. So what mm. you do, we don't put only fruits or vegetables in it. So if you do those two, you are going to feel hungry quickly. So mm -hmm. that's why we put the like avocado, which is good fat and protein. We are yeah. putting nuts and seeds, again, good fat and protein and fiber and the nutrients, all the nutrients your body needs to function from morning till lunchtime. So that's why people don't crave. Yeah. Once you have it, you're not going to crave extra sugar or cakes, okay. biscuits and caffeine. Yeah. So smoothie can be your meal. Yeah, yeah, that's why whereas, I'm giving you as a as breakfast. <laughs> whereas, whereas juicing is part of your meal. <laughs> well, <can we laughs> that's yeah? right. You eat more when you have the juice. That's right. And also, <laughs> the other thing I noticed is you said fiber. Yes. Is it that the juicing takes out some of the fiber? Or, All of right? the fiber. It takes so you are out only getting some, the nutrients uh, from it. Right, but okay. also it's giving you even the more sugar because without the fiber, you can't re really um kind of like handle the excess of sugar as well. It will affect your blood sugar level, basically. You know, this is, this is so, so true. It's so powerful what you just said there. By juicing, you're, are you saying to me, if I'm right, if I get my head right, you know my head is not always right. Yeah. Are you saying to me that by juicing, I'm increasing the concentration of the sugar yes. in that liquid? Yeah. yeah. And if then you I'm leave taking it out, longer, then it yeah. will cause toxicity. So if and, uh, some people yeah. uh, keep it in the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. And then they they have it like, uh, oh, you know, yeah. I will I will take it to work four or five hours later or next day, yeah. even in the fridge. You are so, causing a problem having more toxicity exactly, while exactly. it's mating and also sugaring uh, content. That's why so, juicing is not so, a, a choice. Yeah, well, it, it, people, but there there must be some pros in juicing. What's the pro? What's the pro? because there are we want the juicers to still enjoy. What as the what, there must be a pro to juicing. What is the pro? Because we don't have juicing machines because they they're bad for us, do we? What is the pro for juicing? What's the benefit of juicing? Okay. Or, or, I tell you what, the juicing people, like if somebody has got cancer or yeah. for detox, people would like to do it, like a, mm -hmm. get rid of the toxicity and put the right nutrients straight away. But the thing is, if you are using more fruits and less vegetables, okay, the juicing like ginger and turmeric or juicing the maybe some sort of like a green leafy vegetables, mm -hmm. if it's bitter, is better for you for you and also it and uh, it will actually improve your digestion and increase your enzymes but right. you have to have a shot like right. straight away but right. it has it shouldn't be too sweet like people put carrots and apple and oh. uh, pear and whatever I love the, carrots I love apple I love pear <laughs> but you're, okay. you're saying where you're saying we should put them in moderation is that right you're saying Yes, but the thing is, don't buy the bottle one. They are more dangerous. Okay. If you are making home, drink yeah. it straight away. Don't leave it too till uh, too long. And okay. also, yeah, um, if you don't have a weight problem, it's fine. Yeah. But if people have a weight problem, they will eat more food because they're not going right. to get the nutrients. Uh, okay. In the feeding so, food, they will eat food and the juice at the same time. <laughs> Right. So, guys, you heard it live here, the difference between juicing and smoothing, smoothies. And one of the reasons why they have on the 30-day health restore smoothies is because a smoothie can be a meal. And guess what? The other thing that Serp just shared with us is like um, there is some benefits to juicing. Yeah. Um, and I think for juicing, is a, it's a quick shot, really. It kind of goes down quickly, doesn't it? And it gets the sugar. You get the sugar content quickly from juicing. Um, but the challenge with that is you get a full, a, con a high concentration of the sugar, but you don't have the fiber to handle it. Is that yes. right? That's Fantastic. right. And that excess of the sugar, you can't remove it from your system uh, without the fiber. Okay. And what, what what will happen if it stays in your system too long, the sugar? Ah, and it will, um, it will cause fermentation. Fermentation uh, turns into like uh, acidity and cause right. like inflammation. It will cause right. problem in your gut. It's right. like a uh, yeast, like an overgrowth yeast, and some uh, problems in the gut, bloating, 
uh, right. not easy to digest and right. constipation. There are many things actually you, you could you could face. That's why right. I'm understanding myself. I never do juicing, or I never right. buy. Um, right. it's, I I know how how it works in the body, so that's why. It's it's preference if you want to do it from time to time, but don't make it as a habit. Yeah. Um, and, and Sarah, you were talking about this diagram before, weren't you, uh, on the screen? Which is I, yeah, for, hectic, yeah? Uh, stomach ulcer and duodenal ulcer. There are two yeah, different. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, duodenal and the stomach similar. What I said is caused by the um, Helicobacter pylori. But when you start really um, avoiding the certain foods, what I mentioned, mm -hmm. and plus having the fermented foods, green leafy vegetables, all the like uh, fruits in moderation, all the things with high fiber, low glycemic index, good fat, mm -hmm. and having more plant based uh, mm -hmm. will really help you uh, to reduce. Oh. By the way, one thing people, if they're on an anti inflammatory, anti-inflammatory medication or aspirin mm. which would actually make the matter worse for them mm. so that's why um and then mm. also other thing doctor would say antibiotics and right. again antibiotics will help you for the bacteria mm. but it will mm. kill the good bacteria it will actually cause issues mm. in your gut the, the way we are helping people is only the changing the choice of the food and how you prepare and cook your food, mm. automatically you are going to heal it without thinking about it. Just to follow, just to follow the instructions we are going to give you. And then, um, you know, within 30 days, hopefully your problem is not too severe or too late. So you will actually improve it. Fantastic. So, so um, thanks for that. Um, do you want to say anything more on that uh, at all? Um, yes, and also alkaline foods is important. Oh, By the way, I'm so, so happy you said that because I was about to ask a question. And the, the okay. question was, is because um, we talk about the ulcers and the sores, is not acidic food going to be a problem? Yeah, um, right. alkaline food is what, probably what we need to protect ourselves from the, um, from the stomach ulcer or recovering yeah. from it anyway. Yeah, Absolutely. Is that right? That's why the, I said sugar is acidic, the juices is acidic, and the dairy products and meats and, the, you know, the fried syrup, food. Syrup, syrup, syrup. Nigerians, Cooking is in I, aluminium. I just <laughs> love sugar. I yeah. got ulcer, but I love sugar. I need to eat my sugar, but I need to be in pain with ulcer. You know, they love, they, they love, what's the other one you said? The other vegetable you said, the other food you said, something else. You said something else just now. I said, I said, uh, nuts said, and seeds. I don't know look, which one. That, that sounds healthy. Yeah, we like unhealthy things. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got stomach ulcer, but I need to see fried chicken. I need to eat my yes, chicken. Fried chicken. I need to buy my chicken oil. I need to try my chicken in oil. But you know what? I got stomach ulcer. Listen, look. Please don't pity yourself if you're not doing the right thing. Listen to Sarah carefully. Do it the right thing. The right thing is if you've got a stomach ulcer, start eating right. Yeah. And Sarah's going to share with that with you right now. Sarah, share some things with them right now okay, that they can eat. Right. You, uh, the foods you can actually eat. All right. Yeah. Um, and similar to, the, you know, the, the one I said, fermented foods, I said it for sleeping as well, which is um, rich in probiotics. And again, probiotics is because if you have the bacteria, Helicobacter pylori, then it will actually start um, removing from your system when you have also high fiber. By the way, if you don't have enough fiber in your food, you can't even release all those bacteria in your system. I know fermented food will help, but yeah. the, without the fiber, it's not going to remove it from your system easily because they have to go and attach. The fiber will attach on the bacteria to be removed. That's why it's very so, important. So there's a question on the screen. I just want to read it to you quickly. Um, <clears throat> are you saying that we get only sugar when we use juicer? Um, you're not saying that, are you really? I didn't say that, no. I, I think what we're saying there is we, we're, 
when you use a juicer, the sugar is more concentrated. Yeah. Is that right? That you means... still get nutrients, but yeah. the, you are not getting the fiber. You are getting more sugar, okay. especially okay. if it's a fruit-based. Fantastic. Yeah. And the other question I think you've just answered, I think, I'm not sure. What, what then happens to the water-soluble nutrients? Yeah. Water-soluble nutrients. Okay. That's I suppose... Definitely. That's a good question, isn't it? Because, you know, there's soluble and there's, you know, water soluble nutrients. So what they're saying, I think, is that when you juice, is there any nutrients in that juice that mm. comes through that that's dissolves in the water, in the, in the juice? Okay. Liquid. This is a very good question. What I, I already mentioned about, yes, you are getting nutrients, but uh, you are getting more sugar and less fiber wouldn't help you to remove excess of fat, excess of the toxins, carcinogen, uh, undigested food, and the hormones from your system. So these are the five things are most important things for our health. Okay. So other thing is the water soluble. Yes, the way, um, <laughs> if you haven't seen the presentation about the healthy cooking system, so you will show you. Yeah, yeah. By the way, guys, if you're asking, what is this presentation? It's Salad Master. Salad okay. Master. Yes, I uh, you, know, you need to salad see the Salad Master presentation. Remember, this program is sponsored by Salad Master. They want to show you everything to do with your health. But listen, you need to book a Salad Master presentation. And you also need to like and subscribe on this channel. Like and subscribe. Thank you very much for everyone that liked and subscribed on this YouTube channel. Because guess what? We're over a thousand subscribers and we're going strong. So, Sarah, get them to see a Salad Master presentation. But carry on. Over to you. Okay. The water soluble, I would say <clears throat> B and C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the most of your starch vegetables like yam, for example, has got B vitamins and C as well. And but when you cook it in the water, boil it, it will lose the all the B and C in the water. That's why when you really see the presentation, they will show you how you can starch vegetables with no like a water doesn't touch, and you are keeping the 93% of nutrients and most importantly, losing the excess of the starch, which is a okay. again sugar. So that's why um, how it's designed, the way right. <clears throat> I explain the choice of the food and also salad master cooking system, you make your Nigerian food as medicine. So that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Salad master, we change lives, guys. Well done, salad master, life changes. Go and show them. 316 titanium stainless steel. Guess what? No toxicity. No toxins coming out and pure nutrients staying in. Um, I'm going to say, Sarah, we're, we're, time is running out. So is there anything else you want to just conclude um, on? Let me, let me just briefly, as I told you, the food is important, like nuts and seeds, again, for the stomach ulcer, beans and legumes, high fiber food, alkaline. The One of the things is also alkaline is the cooking. So I believe the salad master cooking system make your food complete the alkaline. Even the tomatoes, it's acidic. It actually, when it cooks in the salad master, it turns into alkaline naturally. Mm -hmm. Do you see now how you can actually protect your body from mm -hmm. the acidity? It's not just the choice of the food. You mm -hmm. can also, the uh, how you can prepare the acidic food can turn into alkaline that it will be your medicine. And yeah, these are the things I wanted to mention. And wow. remember, 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 please choose. Everything is grown naturally organic. And most of the things actually from Nigeria, because I know some people for the convenience, they go to the supermarket and buy the things because they are vegetables and fruits. Wow. Guess what? Thanks. They are coming from South Africa. So which country you want to make richer? Is the Nigeria? or South Africa. By the way, I'm not against any countries here. Of course, you can choose, but the one of the things, if it travels, mm -hmm. it causes more radiation and it doesn't have as much nutrients because when it travels, it becomes unripe. The unripe it doesn't have as much nutrients. Um, That's why choose, please, local, organic, <laughs> organically grown Nigerian foods and See the presentation. If you have the salad master already, use it every single meal, please. And wow. yeah, wow. that will actually help you to wow. prevent you. star diseases. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, Sharon, 
Um, I think you've got some feedback. I don't know if you've got another device on and you're there, but you've got some feedback coming from you, Sharon. Um, so I don't know whether IT can help you. No, with that. no. Sharon, I... can you... Yeah, Sharon, can you can you hear us? Yes, I can Hello, hear Sharon. you very well. Okay, so over to I you. Do you want to say you. a few words, Sharon? Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you very much, Sharon. Yeah, so not... that... Yes. <clears throat> Sir, as always, very, very valuable information. I always take up a lot from your sessions. I just have one small quick question. What's your advice on juicing beetroot? Ah, okay. To be honest with you, when it comes to all the juicing, my personal preference or the Can understanding. Yeah, yeah, I, I heard you. Uh, Again, instead of juicing, you can use it in your, in your cooking or smoothie uh, is, the, is the best way because the beetroot still has got starch, which is high sugar in it. So that's why um, if you like the taste of it, have it in moderation, but uh, use it more in smoothie and cooking. Fantastic. Fantastic. We heard that. Moderation. Yeah. So we have, thank you, sir, for that. Uh, we're looking forward to you coming to Africa. Sir, um, yes. I, I, I know you do one-to-ones. Um, yes, I do. And those of you that want to have a one-to-one -one with Sarah, please reach out to us and we'll put you in touch with Sarah. Um, those of you that have some, uh, some conditions or some lifestyle illnesses, then please reach out to us and we'll put you in touch, contact with Sarah. Serp has a she she, she Serp is um, value for money. That's what I say, value for money. Yeah, you know. So I think it's good for you to reach out. And those of you that want to just do something general, there we, we have our health restore program, which um, which um, Serp, by the way, helped us put together a long time ago. A long time ago, Serp helped us put it together. Serp came to Nigeria, food for life coach, and looked at all the foods. And looked at all the foods in Ghana, looked at all the foods in Kenya, looked at all the foods in Cote d'Ivoire, and then decided like we're going to put together and then work with our chefs, work with our chefs to make sure that we get these things done. So, Sarah, I would like to say thank you very much. I salute you. Yeah. And we're going to move. thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Thank you. And have a great day, everybody. And have a nice weekend. See very you good. Soon. Thank you. We'll thank see you, you soon. Bye. Uh, so Sh Sharon, Sharon, you have a, you have a, I'm just going to just quickly, because we're time factor, we have some nice, some news. I want to just uh, share some news that Sharon has. We have, we have actually some people that have come through the Health Restore program. Can you explain the Health Restore program before we show, show some, the Health Restore program? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? I know there's some feedback that you're you experiencing, hear you. but can you hear me well? No, you know, okay, you great. Sorry, okay. So I have to talk to people. Is if you say, "Can you hear me?" and we can't hear you, then we can't say we can hear you. <laughs> so just carry on. <laughs> carry on. All right. I have to program. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're having live is life. I think Sharon may have to go to another studio room. You need to go to another studio room, Sharon, because it's not actually happening where you are. So what I'm going to do is while you go to another studio room, I'm just going to share some slides with everyone so that they can understand the health restore. And then hopefully we will get you back online. Online. So just quickly... For those people, um, we're going to ask Sharon to just go to another studio room because um, we're having issues with the actual uh, transmission. Um, but before Sharon gets there, I want to just share with you the Food for Life, the, the uh, Health Restore program that we have um, so that you can see it. Uh, you should see it on my screen right now. I think you should see it on my screen right now. Um, the Health Restore program is a program put together. Um, like I said, we have we, what it is is a Health Restore um, club membership. Now we want everyone to be healthy for the whole year, or if if you can't afford the whole year, then you can afford six months in the year, hopefully. And the health restore pro, the health restore membership, the club membership, actually gives you all these features. 
that you can see here, you get uh, for this for twenty thousand naira, only twenty thousand naira, you get six month subscription to the club. Now, if you want gold, guess what? You've got twelve month subscription, which is at forty thousand naira. And you know what? You get all these features here. You get meal plans. You get um, pers You get discounts on our special, special salad master, healthy, nutritious cooking system. You also get access to our weekly training. You get weekly health tips. You get all these things that is listed here. So please, if those of you that are interested, please reach out to us because we're doing special deals till the end of April. So we have that there. So I just want to make sure I share that with you. Now, we have also um, something also that I would just like to explain. We also have, I'm just going to quickly um, remove my screen for a second uh, so you can hear me. We also have some special people that have recently, recently, what they've done, they've recently finished the Health Restore program. That means they had 30 days, 30 days of no meat. Yes, no meat. They had 30 days of no dairy. Yes, no dairy. They had, they they kept, they focused for 30 days. And you know what? They won. They are our champions now. They are champions now. I just want to share with you uh, one of our champions. Um, and you can see one of our champions there. And uh, what we have, congratulations, um, Mrs. Maduke, uh, on, uh, uh, on winning the 30-day health restore, which means that you went through 30 days, you're a champion. You climbed, you know, people climb Kilimanjaro. Not everybody can climb Kilimanjaro. Everyone can think about climbing, but not everybody starts. Everybody can start climbing Kilimanjaro, but not everybody finishes. And I want to salute you, um, Mrs. Maduke, for, uh, for getting up to the top of the health restore program and re getting rid of dairy and meat for 30 days congratulations on that on that so i just want to share and then we have also we have also on there um we have mr lukeman wow i like this man mr lukeman he actually started 30 days and guess what again he climbed the mountain the mountain kilimanjaro everybody can think about it everybody can start it but not everybody gets to the top and here we have two champions and we have more champions to announce next week. But I just want to make sure you understand once you finish the, the 30 day health restore, you get your certificate. You also get a book, a health a book, a notebook, which has health tips in there also. And it's it's and the most important thing, you are healthy and you are ready to go. And I think um, IT, if they're there, there's a video that you think we wanted to play. I don't know whether we have that video, but I think if anybody wants to come on the 30-day health restore, please contact us. Please let us know. Um, also, anybody that wants to see a Salad Master presentation, a Salad Master presentation also, please let us know. Now, some of you were saying, maybe saying, okay, so what is involved in this 30-day health restore? Um, I don't have time to prepare lunch, breakfast, and dinner. I don't have time to prepare lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Um, and you might say, well, can I find somebody or can the office provide lunch, breakfast, and dinner? And guess what? We also have a 30-day, what we call the food clinic, the food clinic, which is which is the best food clinic, which is has Chef Jessica, has um, Chef Rose, and what they're doing is they're cooking the food for you. They're preparing the smoothies for you. So you can you can sit there, relax. Every day is delivered to you. So if you and that's not included in the 40,000 on uh, 20,000, just in case you get excited and think, oh, so that's part of it. No, it's not part of it. But guess what? If you're if you don't have a chef, if you don't have the time to prepare it, then you contact us and we put you in front bestfoodclinics.com. Now, I'm going to bring in Sharon again because I think she might have better communication, but I'm going to guess uh, that she has better communication. Sharon, um, I've done most yes. of your work. I've done most of your work, but I think yes, we still need to hear from thank the Thank you, head. Tony. Yeah? Okay, good. Studio, studio number two. Okay, there you okay. go. Okay, I hope you can hear me very well and you can see me very well this time. Yeah. 
We can hear you. We yeah, can see okay. you. You look bright. You look yeah. radiant. You look like yeah. you've done a 30 day health restore. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But you guess what? The fruit thing has just changed my mind. All this fruit that we're having. And one of the questions um, that people do ask is I take a lot of fruit, but I now know that there's certain things that you have to do, even with your fruit. So it's all very, very great to have the information. So, yes, thank you for um, taking over. And um, I don't know where you got up to. I've just come back on board. Can you hear me? Hello, no, Tony. Uh, look, Sharon, we just want to hear quickly. Okay. Just a 30 day health restore. I'm what is it about? I'm expecting that people want... can hear me. Yeah, we just want so... to hear quickly. Yeah. Okay. I'm here. Okay, so tell us about the 30 day health restore. We're just waiting to hear from you. Okay, okay. I think that you've explained about the silver membership club yeah, I've, member. I've explained that. You've done all yeah, of that. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so all you need to do is to sign up for the year subscription, which takes you for the year. That membership, that gold membership of 40K, takes you all through the year with lots and lots of things that you can benefit from. You know, we've just launched this. And we would like to have people join in and have more testimonials like the previous lady that you saw on picture. She's actually finished her 30 day and she wants to continue to do the 30 days in her own time and cook the food. She was doing the, the breakfast, lunch and dinner. And yeah. now she's saying that she wants to continue. So Sorry. we would like to hear people like yourselves coming on board, joining us, and we will hold your hand along the way. There's a website that we are currently working on to make life easier for you as well. And there's the Best Food Clinic um, website that is currently, again, being worked on. So we're here to develop things to make it better for you. We always look for feedback, and we do Thank consultations you. with you. Okay. Thank you, Sharon. Many, many Thank more you. things. I know Thank we're running short of time. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon's the head of Health Restore. Guys, restore your health. Yeah. Stop thinking about the money. Start health. thinking about the health. Health is Definitely. wealth. Yeah. Listen, if you want to make millions and billions of dollars, you need to think about your health first. Because if your health doesn't make it, you don't get there. Yeah. So really, I yeah. want to just share a, a testimony from um, Madam Madhuka. So if uh, hopefully you'll see it on the screen right now. Let's see if it comes on. I'm excited about this program. At first, when I got the idea, it was like, hmm, can I do without meat? And uh, throughout my life, I can't remember taking a decision that says eat without animal protein. But when I saw this idea and I learned that it's going to uh, restore my health, I got interested in it. And so I embarked on the journey. Sharon told me no cheating. And I said, yes, no cheating. And we went through the journey and I completed it without cheating. It's so exciting. While going through the journey, I realized that my BP that could not be stable at uh, uh, 130 became stable at 120. I'm excited about this program and I intend to continue. So, I have taken a decision I'm going to print out all the menus that were sent to me. I'll pin them in my kitchen. In the office of Madame Monica, and I'm awarding her the completion of her program, which she's done exceptionally well. Looking really super healthy, and we're also giving a very nice healthy living show book, which has got good information last year, the whole year. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations. Wow, 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 wow. Guys, um, congratulations to um, Madam uh, Maduka. Congratulations. I, I respect you. I, I respect your decision to start and then to finish. And the same thing for <laughs> Mr. Lutman. And I'm looking forward to more people getting our certificate.
for completion of your 30 day health restore program. No cheating, no cheating. No cheating. You have to have <laughs> breakfast, lunch, yes. and dinner. And you have yes. to do it for 30 days. No meat for 30 days. No dairy product for 30 days. Not even a small little snack of meat or dairy all that so i'd like to say thank you very much i'd like to say thank you very much sharon thank you very much uh jeremiah uh for coming on the show and sharing us with all the all the nice colors of our food and the power of the color of the food i'd like to say sorry for the technical difficulty but life live is yeah. life and I so therefore the mistakes are deliberate i hope you can share this with people share some ulcers that um, Serap gave us information on, powerful. The sleep disorder, powerful. Jeremiah with the information about our colors, our purple, our blue, powerful. And you know what? I learned something about juices and smoothies and why you take juice and why would you take smoothies. And that's powerful. All the information on this video is power packed. Tell someone to watch this video. But before you tell them to watch this video or this show, tell them to get some popcorn. Yeah. I'm not saying bad popcorn, good popcorn. Yeah. And get a nice smoothie. I use my words very carefully. Don't get no, 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 no fizzy drinks. Get a nice smoothie and relax and just have an hour and a half just to enjoy the show. I'd like to say thank you very much, Jeremiah. Thank you, Jeremiah. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you Sharon. Much. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to Sarah. Okay. So and really thank, enjoyed. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you for the IT people behind the scenes that made this possible. And every one of you, guys, the best thing you can do for us is share this. If you want to change your life, share this video. Yeah, and get people to watch this and share it and like it and make comments. So thank you very much. If you need to show up for one to one, she's coming to Nigeria very soon. Watch out for Sarah, guys. Thank you very much. Great. And thank you so bye bye. Much. Remember one bye -bye. thing: your health is your wealth. Is your wealth. Yeah? Look, we're eating. Either we're eating to feed disease or we're eating to fight disease. This show is about fighting disease. This show is about your restoring your health restore your health it's very important for you to restore your health i've got that video out there that says this 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 so we're going to finish on that last video and we're out so as we say salad master book a salad master presentation if you want the toxins the metals out of your food see a salad master presentation if you want to preserve the nutritional value in your food see a salad master presentation uh, and guys if you want to see me see a salad master presentation yeah and the final thing the final thing is see a Salad Master presentation, right? Thank you, thank you all, Thanks, bye. Guys. Hey guys, bye. it's me again. Bye. Remember my midnight strolls in Lagos, the heat in Lagos, yeah? Guess what happens? I'm now in the freezing London, freezing London. It's freezing, look at that. Look, some of you can see some of the places a bit dark, but it's freezing. And the freezing making you think of the heat in Nigeria. But this one I've got to do quick because I'm cold, I'm cold. Now, what's inspired me? What's inspired me during this walk? You know, you get those people that you tell them to eat healthy, eat healthy, and you probably even do a presentation for them. And at the end, they know it's right. And you know what they say? Something must, my friend, something must kill a man. Now, guys, something must kill a man. Yep, not something, yeah. Something can kill a man. <laughs> yeah, bad food can kill a man. You know, we heard of people committing suicide by taking pills, taking things that are not good for them, and they die. That's not in God's time. That's in their time. Some of us are taking our lives in our time, not God's time. And what do I mean by that? We're eating food that's bad for us. And guess what? We're leaving the world early, earlier than expected. Yep. Don't tell me God asked you to eat bad food. No, you decided. So guys, what I'm saying to you all here, stop saying something must kill a man. Yeah, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Watch yourself. Stay healthy. And guess what? Get on our Health Restore program. 30 days of detox. That's what you need. Detox. Give your body a go. Give it a chance. Give your health a chance. 
Life is for living. And thanks, me signing out. Bye.